projectiles is well projectile engine for ghetto it lets you create all kind of different projectiles using the ghetto game engine it's a resource based uh, projectile system which provides a variety of different kind of behaviors for your projectiles from bullets to magic effects to laser beams to fire effects different kind of animations with your projectiles firing along around your subject from hitting individual bullets it's available on github and uh, you can check it out and uh, it got off a lot of capabilities i hope the creator creates a 3d version as well because the 2d version is amazing plus the visuals that are shown in the demo are so great in sometime in the future i will create a tutorial on how do we actually implement those kind of visuals in our own projectiles so stay tuned for that and subscribe for that maybe Esprite is a godly animation software almost every day that wants to work with pixel art considers using Esprite as their first option it's an amazing piece of software Esprite wizard brings the powers of Esprite to ghetto you can import any a sprite file seamlessly in the getaway game engine as sprite frames static files textures or even tile set atlas it's a heavenly software with a, a lot of features you can import your textures or your sprites in any way you desire this makes the convenience on a uh, next level i don't know that english makes sense but somewhere it works with animation player, animated sprites, and uh, textures, sprite 2D, almost everything that uh, Ghetto offers are godly software indeed, and the godly plugin indeed. No matter how much you try to hide from it, ads are the optimal way to earn money. AdMob for Ghetto lets you add Google AdMob into your Ghetto game, earning you, yes, money. <laughs> Google. AdMob is a Google service that lets you integrate ads into your mobile apps and uh, games and uh, AdMob for Ghetto lets you integrate that tool into Ghetto. It's made by Punk Studios and uh, pretty, pretty good I would say. It ha it's a really solid implementation and uh, almost anything you need for implementing custom ads. It has features like mediation and uh, everything you need from bidding strategies and all the other kind of jazz that uh, involves with the ads not too much of an expert in that situation but money is money <laughs> so definitely a good add-on and uh, I've seen implementations I have implemented it myself good add-on while working on a project it's it happens a lot that you need to disable some kind of node many nodes have different kind of properties and functionalities that may not turn off while when you hide the node for example for collisions you need to turn off their collision for some other nodes you might uh, need to turn off their some of their properties to make them completely not work it's a really good idea to add a simple button to just disable the node no disable or just just that there are so many add-ons on the asset library that do the same thing and have better implementations and all kind of that stuff so uh, i recommend checking out the ghetto's asset library and looking for an uh, add-on that suits you the best i just want to show you the idea that uh, disabling a node can be possible ghetto severely lacks 3d debugging tools debug draw 3d is a heavenly software or plugin i don't know it's a plugin i why i said it's software uh it's, it's it can do a lot of different kinds of from boxes spheres cylinders paths uh kind of transparency transparent and using talking co different colors all kind of uh, stuff uh, following the mouse and uh, animating using a uh, different kind of code creating grids using images and uh, algorithms and it's amazing i would say a lovely add-on and uh, it has some really good optimization even though it's running on the browser with the screen recording on on my crappy computer with uh, like uh, 20 tabs on because uh, you know i'm doing some stuff and uh, but still it's quite good 
I mean, uh, uh, when you do some heavy lifting, it does go a bit down in the frame rate because you are generating a million blocks. Uh, what else you would you expect? But uh, wow, amazingly optimized and so much functionality and it's so neatly organized if you visit the github you can find the documentations on how to use it and it's really fascinating how it works and uh, the mo coolest thing i found maybe was this uh, transparent box and uh, these animated paths here this and uh, that screen over there where if the mouse goes this sphere falls me and uh, this line that actually is transparent from one side so much cool stuff down going on here and uh, definitely check it out uh, amazing add-on and uh, leave the link in the description limbo ai is a behavior tree system for creating ai pc and animating their behavior and state machines it's an amazing tool it's i would say when you have like a software and they are like some big so one of those like the high quality ones there like every software has those add-ons that are really really high quality and like above everything else limbo is one of them it's amazing the sequence system is so cool and you can do almost anything any kind of behavior using it and uh, it's a great piece of ghetto add-on and uh, definitely a standard for ghetto add-ons that people should create such a cool thing and I have never heard anyone talk about this add-on, but this is so great, so promising. This is Sprite Mesh, a simple idea. You take a simple sprite and extrude it to one direction and make it 3D. From anything from uh, simple 2D sprites to uh, like houses, shapes, uh, I like these kind of sprites. You can take a sprite and turn it into 3D these simple demos show so much promise you can see it, it can create this cool voxel style effect for like you can see it turns your sprite into these vertices and stuff and uh, this demo on the side with the you know the trees and houses it's just a unique style that i really want to implement and someday hopefully i will try to do it and if you are interested in this add-on i would love if you try out this style is I've never and seen anyone trying this a lovely add-on please try it out vehicles are not something that uh, Gido doesn't overlook but definitely needs improvement on the official sense but uh, Gido add-ons make it everything better the, this is physics based vehicle for Gido it uses ray casting and all kind of jazz I actually tried that out once I don't know maybe I made a video or, or maybe I didn't Maybe I'll make one in the future. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Shit. So uh, this is a uh, Raycast based updated to Gido 4.3, uh, and uh, be sure to install the asset library version. That's one is better, and really good add-on. And there we have it, folks. We got Gido add-ons that make your life better. Gido add-ons that are amazing. If you got so many other Gido add-ons that uh, will help other developers or if you have created one be sure to link them down in the description tell me about them and uh, if you have anything interesting to share to other people like you definitely give it in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Beep.